All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And this is Shalom to all the Aki and Mount here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. We're going to go on this topic of the spiritual famine, you know. Uh, pretty soon there's going to be a physical famine out here, you know, where people aren't going to be able to go buy uh, food, you know, in front of these stores. And people aren't going to be able to hear the word and the truth that, that is inside the scriptures, you know. But before that, it's already uh, gearing towards that, you know. We are already in a, a, a famine of the word right now. The, the word and, and everything else that, that goes along with the truth is precious, you know. But pretty soon that's going to be shut up, you know, when the, um, the elect is sealed. Um, Amos uh, 8 and 11 Because we're talking about the, the spiritual famine um, It says Behold the days come saith the Lord God That I will send a famine in the land Not a famine of bread Nor a thirst of water But of hearing the words of the Lord You know right now we're in the, uh, the, the, the age of uh, If you say something or you don't agree with what society says, people already say that you hating. You know, like no matter what, people people will say that you hating. Like if you tell them, like, "Hey man, like, it, what's the what's the point in you having um, a three thousand dollar belt or something like that?" You know, and it, the the way these people act nowadays, they say, "Oh man, you hating, man." You know, or you you tell them what what's the sin. And the people don't want to hear it, you know, when it comes down to the words of the Lord, you know. You tell them uh eating eating pork is 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 uh again is a sin, you know, it's against the, the words of the Lord, you know. And and what they'll do, they'll make up an excuse, like, oh my grandmother lived to be uh a hundred years old, you know. That I don't see nothing wrong with pork. Like they got they got uh things to clean the pork off now, you know. People will make up an excuse to defend their wickedness, you know. You you tell them, hey, uh, you shouldn't be sleeping with another man's uh woman, you know. Well, that, that that's what they do, you know. They they don't have no problem with it, you know. You tell them the 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 Lord's name, the people don't want to hear it, you know. Well, the, we're not supposed to be throwing the Lord's name out there. You know, because that's a, a holy and, and, and sacred name, you know, and that's what's, what's going to get get us up out of here. You know, it's precious, but our people don't want to hear the truth. They don't even want to consider the fact that that they're Israel, you know, that they're Israelites. You know, it says that I will send a famine in the land, you know, that, that it's starting now. You can't tell these people that. Um, that your their that homosexuality is wrong, you know why? Because one of the things they got they got uh hate laws for for that, you know. You you can't uh get on them because you 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 could get sued or whatever the case may be, you know. Even the the so called Jewish people, the fake Jews, you know, who stole the the heritage of the Negroes. You know the tribe of Judah. We we they have a uh, anti anti uh, defamation. You know, so you can't even defame them without uh, getting sued. You know, so so it's a spiritual famine and this border set up. You know, out here to the, to the point where people don't want to hear the. The, the words of the Lord right now is as it is and, and you know it's plenty of truth to go around we're in the, the inf information age you know this the ignorance of these people you know is is really blissful you know we here we got Google and all type of things that people can research but what do people want to do they want to get on the internet and and watch uh, controversial videos or things that just for entertainment, you know, even among the ones who, who believe in, 
in uh, Israel themselves. They only want to watch uh, videos that is um, towards uh, controversy or guys rebuking other guys, you know? They don't want to go into the lessons and stuff like that. Like, I'm pretty sure that this video probably wouldn't even get that many views, you know, because guys aren't into trying to learn, you know, and applying the, the, the scriptures. They're just looking at the, the glamour and the glitz of everything, you know. But pretty soon that famine of the world is going to come, you know, on a on a, a large scale. But it's already here right now. People don't want to, they, they shut up their ears, you know, from hearing the, the word of the Lord, you know. They want to hear the entertainment and entertaining things, you know. But I'm going to finish this scripture off and then I'm going to go into the, the, the physical I mean, the, another spiritual uh, famine, you know. It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. And right now, this is the best time to find it, you know. It's precious. Everybody else is going to get it, you know. But but when it's time to to for the for the truth, you know what I'm saying, when, when, when stuff starts going down, like the parable of the uh the foolish virgins, that's when people are gonna want want the oil, you know, according to Matthew uh twenty five. People are gonna want that knowledge, you know what I'm saying, of what to do. You know? But among Israel you got, got fools, you know, that, that don't want to get into the breakdowns, don't want to see things, you know. They not gonna know what to do or how to handle stuff, who to pray to, you know. Because our, our people, they're not going to, they're going to see that Christ isn't going to deliver them, you know. He hasn't, he hasn't come through at all for them. You know, our people are going to, going to see that, you know. And then, and then when that time comes, they're going to be looking for the true worshipers of the Lord, you know. But, um, that's, that's the spiritual famine, you know what I'm saying, of the word. You know, I want to go into this lesson of how the, the, the famine of the food is here now, you know, spiritually. Um, this is Second Ezra 16 and 21. It says, Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evil, evils grow upon the earth Sword, famine, and great confusion, you know? Now, the word victuals, when you look it up, it means food, you know, or provisions. So basically, it's saying that uh, the food will be so good cheap, and that's what it, hit, that's what it is right now, you know? I'm a, I got an article right here, you know? It says, Wendy... Burns Burger King and Value Meal price war. So this is a sign of this this scripture coming to pass. You know, uh, food will be uh, so good cheap upon the earth, right? That uh, they shall think themselves to be in good good case. You know, or right, it says, let the games begin. Fast food wars are heating up over value meals, and things are starting to get ugly. McDonald's, which has the uh, two for two, and they, they, they're going to it. It says McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, and Carl Jr.'s, or Carl's Jr., are all offering competing deals. McDonald's launched its new McPick 2 dollar menu earlier this year, a, replace, a replacement for the old dollar menu that allows people to buy two items for two bucks wendy's is offering four items for four bucks not to be undone burger king one upped wendy's with a five for four dollar deal carl's jr has the real deal which includes a charbroiled double cheeseburger and a spicy chicken sandwich served with fries and a drink for four dollars. It says, but I last week Burger King took a poke at Wendy's on social media over its value meal that led to a Twitter showdown. 
right? Now, when people look at this, like, they, they think that this is a good deal, you know? You you can get all the, the good food, you know what I'm saying? Is is these pictures so you can get all this, you know, for, for, for dirt cheap, you know? But they had this saying that, that's called, you get what you pay for, you know? Yeah, you see the, the, the swine on the, on the, um, on the, the burger, you know? Now, when you look at <clears throat> these, these food, or this food, you know, you got to take into consideration that, first off, the, 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 the workers are pretty much unsanitary, you know? McDonald's just hire anybody, and they have tons of videos where people be having sex inside of the, the, the stores, you know, they be wiping the burger buns on the floor, you know? They probably don't even wash their hands when they make, when they're giving you the food, you know. Then you got to take into consideration the food that you eat, you know, which is really the most important. Once you uh, trickle it down to the fact that it's unsanitary in there, you know, I always ask this question, like, where's all the McDonald's uh, farms or where are the, the Burger King farms, you know, where are they getting all this meat from, you know, for, for two dollars. Or, or however much you're paying for, you know, you, you, you can't be expecting to have a good burger, you know, for that cheaper or, or of amount of money, you know. And people wonder why they be having all these heart uh, or, or, or health um, complications, you know, from eating all this processed food, you know. Now, in this society, you know, like, it's, it's, it might be cool. I wouldn't, I would, I don't eat at McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't go to these stores out here, you know, like these fast food restaurants, you know? But what with us being in captivity, you know, that sometimes that might be the only thing that you can afford, you know? But at the same time, like this stuff right here that you're eating, the, 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 the fries, you know, like it, 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 how many chemicals is in that, you know? We don't know, you know, but you get what you pay for when, when you look at this food, you know, like the, the, the burgers, the, the, it, they got tons of articles where it talks about the burgers have, um, cow dung in it, you know, which is, which is, uh, feces, you know, it says every burger has cow uh, feces in it, you know, so when you, when you factor in the fact that it has cow dung in it, and then a lot of these burgers, especially McDonald's, they say that McDonald's be be using all type of craziness for their uh, food, you know, pink slime, and I even heard uh, um, humans, you know, human meat for their for their food, you know. But when you factor in the fact that it's cow dung and you don't know what else is in this burger, is it really worth it, you know? <laughs> Is it really worth it? And then you top it off with with pork, which the pork probably probably the only uh, real thing on the burger, you know. So so is the food really worth it once you uh, go go deeper into it, you know, and into thought about the food, you know, with the fries that's only good when they hot, you know, you can't reheat them. So is it really good once you go deep into it? But but a lot of people. They think that it is, you know, and and the scripture talk about even then, so uh, evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion, and that's what's going on right now. But the sword, what when martial law goes on, and people aren't able to go buy their food from these markets and stuff like that, you know, and what, what a lot of people are going to be getting killed, you know, when that's when the sword, when the so called white man comes, you know. Put these people in, in the FEMA camps, you know, when the famine comes, you know, a lot of these people, you know, they, they're not going to be able to eat this food, you know, the, but, but this is the, the, the price that people pay, you know, for, to eat nowadays. And like I said, like it's a spiritual famine. So with all these foods out here, you know, you got so much GMO food, you know, Genetically modified organisms, you know, so, so 
looking at like seedless watermelon, you know, they they'll sell you a seedless watermelon, a big watermelon for like four dollars, you know, and people will actually think that that's good because it's a seedless watermelon for for four dollars, you know, but they don't take into the to consideration about all the other stuff that comes along with it, like the your hormones, you know. But I have another scripture, um, Ezekiel 4 and 9. It says, Take thou also unto you wheat and barley and beans and lentils and millet and fitches and put them in one vessel and make you bread thereof according to the number of the days that you shall lie upon your side. 390 days shall you eat thereof. And and your meat, which you shall eat, shall be by weight. Don't don't when you go into these markets, you know you gotta put the, the the meat on a on a scale. You know, that's what they do. You know, like you want to get some lunch meat, you you gotta put it on a scale. This this is that that wasn't the way that it was back in the ancient days. You know, it says, and your meat, which you shall eat, shall be by weight, twenty seconds a day. From time to time you shall eat it. You shall drink also water by measure. You know, you got these bottles of water and, you know, you, you got to watch how, how much water you use or, or drink, you know, because you got a water bill, you know. And people equate these scriptures to, to religion, you know. This is not religion. Like, this is real life that we're, we're living, man. You know, being oppressed, you know spiritually um it says thou shalt drink also water by measure the sixth part of an hen from time to time shalt you drink and you shall eat it as barley cakes and you shall bake it with dung that cometh out of man in their sight and the lord said even thus shall the children of israel eat their defiled bread among the gentiles and that's what we're doing right now, man. We're eating the, 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 the foul bread, man. You know? In all aspects of everything, man. You know? It says, whither I will drip, drive them. And that's not, you know, the, 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 the foul bread, you know, when it comes down to these scriptures. Because the scriptures refer to the, to the, to the, um, the scriptures refer to the word as um, different types of food, you know? It, it refers to it as water, you know, bread, you know, honey, um, meat, milk. The list goes on, you know. The, the, the scriptures refer to, the, to food, you know, in many different references, you know. But that's, that's what our people are doing, man. They eat defiled bread among the Gentiles spiritually, you know. They wanna they wanna go into these churches and 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 pay for wicked uh breakdowns, man. You know? Or or even go to these um other Israelite camps, man, and don't even get the truth, man. You know, our people eating 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 this defiled bread, man, like it's nothing, man. You know? It's that then said I, Ezekiel 4, 4 and 14, then said I Ah, Lord God, behold, my soul have not been polluted. For from my youth up, even till now, have I not eaten that which dieth of itself, or is torn in pieces. Neither came there abominable flesh into my mouth. And when you look at this, man, and you look at in, at, in this society, man, we eating nothing but food that's dying of itself, you know, food that's torn into pieces. You know, abominable flesh, man, because they they'll put um, ground beef, which which is the scriptures say, you know, when, when you go on a little bit more. But they'll put ground beef on a on a um, shelf, but it'll say ground beef. But in reality, it's horse meat, you know, so we it's spiritually a famine, man, like. No matter how how you look at it, which way you want to go, man, it's it's a famine of of the truth, man. You know, 
it's 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 really hard for for people to see, man. Cause they so wrapped up into entertainment to 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 the sin that they that they like doing, man. It says, um, neither came there abominable flesh into my mouth. Then he said unto me, Lo, I have given you cow's dung for man's dung, and you shall prepare your bread there with. So the Lord said, instead of man's dung, you shall eat it with cow cow's dung. You know? So that's basically what it is now, man. We eating cow's dung for everything that we basically eating, man. Like the the burgers and stuff like that is cow's dung, you know. The, it's pork and all these and all the food, man. That we eating defiled bread, man. You know, it's it's not the truth, you know. It says, um, moreover, he said unto me, son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by the weight. And with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment. You know, this is what what's going on right now, man. The astonishment, man, like in the Flint, Michigan, you know, and, and other various parts of uh United States, man. You know, we we eat and we our people are drinking dirty water, man, with with fluoride in it, you know. Uh it says that they may want bread and water and be astonished. A star not one with another and consume away for their iniquity, and that's basically what it is, man. Our people, they they don't want to come back to the heavenly Father, you know, and realize that they went off. They they still gonna go to this wicked ass society, you know, and and the 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 wicked ass society is continually killing them, you know. These these Edomites, man, you know, starting from the the. Elite banking families on down, you know. Our people don't want to hear that, you know. They don't want to see the fact that these banking families, you know, the so-called Illuminati, you know, are the ones that's controlling everything, man. You know, they 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 sit up there. Oh, that's a lie. That's a rumor. Everything that people say, even the scriptures, you know, or oh, the Bible was written by a man. You know, our people don't want to hear the words of the Lord, man. And that's the point, man. It's a famine of the word right now. It's it's a spiritual famine, you know. And and pretty soon it's gonna be a physical famine, man. You know? Of the word and, and of the truth in general, man. Our people just don't see it, man. And this right here is wickedness, man. That's why you gotta send them prayers up, man, so that we can get up out of here, man. You know? You got two eat a mic, <laughs> you know, Wendy and and, and this Burger King, man, you know, we got to get up out of here, man. But with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Sim Yahweh Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And this is Sir Shalom to all the Aki in my head that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Shalom.